Hey everybody, today I wanted to show you another one of my experiments, my hydroponic experiments um, with this laundry soap bottle and Kratky hydroponics. So I think I have seven or eight plants in here. Anyway, I want to give you a closer look at this and explain what I've done here. Uh, because whether you want to use a laundry soap bottle or any other container, you could do this with a milk jug or a juice container or anything you like. Um, you get a lot of planting space out of this. It's very easy. This has never seen any natural sunlight. It's just sat on my, my bookcase with a shop light on it, and it's, it's done really well. So I'm going to give you a closer look and explain what I've done here. And um, I think in previous videos, I've showed you these, how I just, um, I recycle, like the, uh, these are my coffee containers. Just drill a hole in the lid, put the baby plant in. I'll show you how we do the baby plants again, in case some of you may not have seen how I, how I start them. Anyway, so let me, uh, let me get you a closer look. So here we have, this is pak choy, by the way. And what all I did um, to this laundry soap bottle is drill a bunch of, they're only like quarter inch, quarter inch holes, I think you can see right there. And so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, and then in the center, uh, this I just took the cap, turned it upside down, drilled a hole through the bottom of the cap, and stuck a baby in there. This one I actually put in later because I figured out why not have one in the in the top too. So then you've got eight plants in there, and that is. Uh, 75 fluid ounces, so it's just a little over uh, two, two quarts. It's 2.34 quarts. So I did have to top this off one time during the grow. Um, it may have been able to keep going because I think it was about down here when I, when I uh, topped it off about three quarters full. So all I did to, um, to start the plants when I put them in the holes, I start my, my little seedlings this way. These are just clay pebbles in a little container. And I put a nutrient solution in there, but I don't think it's necessary. I think you could do this with um, just water. But I use a, a one teaspoon of maxi grow per gallon. And I just put a little bit until the top of the, until it comes up to the top of the clay pebbles, and then just sprinkle my seed on. So here I have some Mizuna mustard greens. These will be going in a grow pipe. And here, uh, that's my dogs. Uh, I have some kohlrabi. And here's some uh, some purple stem radishes. So this is another way that I that I do sometimes uh, do. This is the way I grow my microgreens for for microgreens. But also sometimes I grow a few um, babies this way to put into another another container. So there's lots of uh, lots of ways to recycle. But I wanted to show you guys this because it's it's a nice way to um, to grow a, a good bunch of greens in um, in a recycled container. And you don't need very big holes. I don't know I, if every crop will work on those small quarter inch holes, but um, I know the pak choys does well and I believe uh, Mizuna would do okay. I think most things will do okay that don't have a long growing period. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone and happy growing.